In our first group of light commercial lambs, we have 11. We will be placing nine. Okay, if you're in the second class, the light commercial lambs, second class, start lining up.
with a really nice class of commercial U-Lands here to start off the class. Um, start off with a, a U-Lamb that really catches your eye when she comes in the ring. Just a real classy U-Lamb. Um, young lady does a great job presenting her. She always has him, always has her stuck, um, head up, top line straight, um, feet and legs correct. Just does a great job getting this, this one showed. So does our second place um, showman down there with that one. Um, really a, a tight pair here. Um, probably the second place U Lamb is probably fitted a little better today, a little better in her condition, a um, little fresher in her top. But um, this first place U Lamb, though, I think just um, wins the class in terms of body design, cleanness through that front end, being still nice down this, down her top, super square and thick out of that hip, and, um, and just putting together a, a completer package. Again, the young lady really drives and sticks this lamb here in second, does a great job. Um, lamb's well fitted, well sheared, um, right amount of condition today, firm to the touch. Um, really nice one in this lamb, but just kind of runs out of gas when I get right behind him. Doesn't have near the width and dimension out of that hip as compared to our first place lamb. Um, young man's third place lamb down there. Um, maybe a little better job next time, young man, getting him ready. Um, wash him, comb out his legs a little bit, will help you. But um, young man does a great job getting him stuck. Um, really appreciate this lamb when I get up over the top of him. Probably as good a rib shape as anything in here. Probably as wide a loin as anything in here. But as I back off from the side and as I watch him go around the arena, um, just to not quite as balanced as the two u lands in front of him. Wants to get a little deeper in that chest floor. Wants to cut up in that rear flank a little bit. Um, kind of got a different sheep over there in fourth. Um, young lady, that lamb has a lot of power. Probably as good a handling as anything in here. A ton of muscle, ton of shape out of that hip. We just got to make him, when you got power, we got to make him look as pretty as we can. Um, sometimes you had him a little stretch. You had his front end too far out in front of him. Just some small deals there. Could have maybe moved you up. Congratulations. All right, placing in our first class of light commercial lambs. First, Gabby Sundberg. Second, Christian Wheeler. Third, Jackson Sukau. Fourth, Maria Valdez. Fifth, McKenna Sukau. Sixth, Elizabeth Purcell. Seventh, Madison Murphy. Eighth, Madison Murphy. And ninth, Marshall Woody. For our second class of light commercial lamps, we have nine, we'll place seven.
If you're in the first class of medium commercial lambs, medium commercial lambs start lining up. I've got some quality up here in these ewe lambs. Make sure we get them lined up right. All right. I've um, got some quality up here in these, these ewe lambs. Um, this first place ewe, um, um, one that um, really catches your eye when she comes in the ring. You're not disappointed when you get, get up over the top of her. Has some, has some, a lot of muscling, a lot of width and dimension down that loin. Yet still puts it together in a real nice package. Young lady always had her driven. Really, uh, really beat the two guy, two young ladies behind you. You always had your stuck. She always walked good. And um, we get down. There's pretty close quality up here. It makes a big difference. Um, great handle, great width and dimension out of that hip. Good on her feet and legs. Um, presented right. Um, she's not too fat. She just um, has the right amount of condition. So. Um, Easy class winner there. Um, come to our second sheep, another one that really catches your eye probably the most as he walks in the ring. Um, this ewe lamb is super classy. Um, she's super up fronted. She runs uphill. She has a great look about her. Um, a little disappointed when you get up over the top of her. Maybe not the width or dimension of the two sheep on either side of her, um, but definitely has the class and the style and has enough muscle to run into second there. Our lamb in third, I wish this lamb would have showed. Um, this lamb doesn't, um, wants to be a little high topped as he walks around the ring. Young lady never really got a good stuck on, stick on him, but um, you're not disappointed when you get up over the top of him. He's probably the broadest and the widest down his top and over his loin. Um, we just need him to show better today with the running, running two in front of him. Congratulations. Placing in our second class of light commercial lambs. First, Sarah Herrera. Second, Rianne Smart. Third, Sitlali Camacho Menard. Fourth, Macy Daniel. Fifth, Abigail Hudson. Sixth, Barbara Cook. Seventh, Sarah Darst. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's give these kids a round of applause for our champion drive out here in our lightweight division. Got some really nice she lambs. They got some style. They got some balance. Some young ladies are doing a um, great job getting them showed. Um, we've got two sheep out here that, in my mind, are just more market ready. They're better to their touch today, better to the handle. That's going to be our two heavies. will be our grand and reserve. Congratulations. Our light commercial champion, Sarah Herrera, and reserve, Rianne Smart. In our first class of medium commercial lambs, we have 11, we will place 9.
The second class medium weight commercial lambs. Second class medium weight commercial lambs start lining up. Well, we definitely have some different styles and shapes out here, and I'm not going to say this first place you probably patterns as good as what I like, but um, when you get your hands on her, um, she definitely doesn't disappoint you. The young lady does a great job getting this one stuck, showing her um, faults out of her, and um, so we appreciate that. Um, a you that um, just wins this class in terms of overwhelming top shape, mass, firmness, touch, um, very full out of her hip. I'm sure as she gets around the ring, she's a little um, little down front, maybe a little short neck. Um, she's also probably just a tick shorter body, maybe our top three or four up here. But I still think she balances up good enough, and I love the power that she has and the mass that she has, and also the great showmanship job. Not taking anything away from the young man second. Great job showing that lamb too. Um, probably followed my top and kind of my first place more than my third, so um, a lamb that's really pulled apart um, through his rib and underneath. Um, just not got up over the top of him. Maybe just didn't quite have the overall shape that my first place lamb had. Maybe just a tick softer, but um, one that's really cracked wide open, level out of that hip. I guess I'd like to change her on her hind legs just a little bit. Young lamb's lady, um, young lady's lamb there, and um, third U lamb, really extended, really beautiful from the side. Um, a lot of shape to this lamb. Um, one, though, that's just not even wanting to show today. He's also wanting to wash out just so, ever so slightly there in his loin. Um, we fixed those two things about him. He could probably move up to the front of the line. Um, got some sheep down here. Um, the next you, an interesting you here and forth. Um, one, I really like the pattern of. Um, really like the top shape. I, like, I really liked her. She walked around the ring, the overall style and balance that she gave me. Probably just past 12 o'clock. She's wanting to put on a little more condition. Um, the widest point of her body is up there on top of her rib. 
we could trim her up, lean her up. She's also one that could have moved way up in this class. Congratulations. All right, placing in our first class of medium weight commercial lambs. First, Trinity Payne. Second, Joseph Adland. Third, Abby McKee. Fourth, Christina Smith. Fifth, Ransom Chavez. Sixth, Catherine Cook. Seventh, Abby McKee. Eighth, Jameson Hacker. And ninth, Teresa Ailman. In our second class of medium weight commercial lambs, we have 13, we are going to place 10. For all the lamb showers, make sure that you see your 4-H advisor or your FFA teacher and let them know what you're going to do with your lambs.
In this class on the medium commercial lambs, we have 13 and we are placing 10. Well, a really challenging class. I've um, got a lot of quality, a lot of quality of animals in this class. Um, maybe some of them weren't fitted um, here in the last week or two to, to meet their potential. Um, so it makes it real challenging. Um, but I think this first place um, young man did a great job sticking this lamb. Um, probably not the most elegant fronted sheep that we've seen all day, but um, young man does a good job showing. And um, he knows that's his faults, getting him stuck, keeping his head up, keeping his top line straight. Um, this lamb has a mega top in him all the way down. He's level, he's balanced, keeps his feet and legs straight, has some power out of that hip. Um, just, just a well job presenting this sheep. Um, second place lamb is one of those that um, really catches your eye when you get over the top of the shoe and also has a great pattern as she walks around the ring. Um, love the, how pulled apart she is, love the rib shape in this shoe. Um, really nice top, really wide loin. Um, one though that I just was a, had a little better tone today. At times she wants to get a little washed out in her loin. Um, just doesn't have the freshness of our first place lamb, so we roll her in the second. Um, third place she lamb there, one that um, doesn't paint a very big picture from the side. Um, she's high topped a lot of times. As we get her out and get her on the move, she comes down and collects herself. But I'm um, one that when you get your hands up over on top of her, um, she is the market lamb of the bunch today. Mega top, mega loin, huge hip, huge leg, handles hard. Um, we just need to style her up just a little bit. Some of that could have been done with shoving ship, um, getting her top down, making her level. Um, she might have moved up. The she lamb in fourth is another one. Um, really doesn't maybe impress you as much until you get it right up over the top of her. She's got a big rib, a big wide flat loin. What really impresses me about her is her hip shape. Um, tremendously thick out of that hip. 
Um, this shoe just needs more fill. Um, she needs a little more cover to freshen her up. And she's one of those that could have been at the top of the class today. Congratulations. Good job. Placing in our second class of medium weight commercial lambs. First, Brian DeLeon. Second, Brady Hughes. Third, April Hernandez. Fourth, Benjamin Hughes. Fifth, Elizabeth Barnett. Sixth, Christian Wheeler. Seventh, Serena Gomez. Eighth, Cody Bannis. Ninth, George Daniel. Tenth, Elizabeth Purcell. If you're in the heavyweight commercial lambs, heavyweight commercial lambs, start lining up. Well, let's give these kids a round of applause for being out here in our champion drive. Glad we got to see some boys that finally spent some time in the barn and got the showmanship so we can have a few of them out here in the champion drive as well. No, just kidding. But um, we got some nice sheep out here. Our, our champion is going to be from our, um, we're going to use our two first place for our champion reserve. Um, we got some differences there. Um, um, both of them are, are really cracked open, really pulled apart. Um, I just think this heavier lamb looks a little neater going around the ring. He'll be your champion, and our lighter lamb will be your reserve. Congratulations. Commercial lamb champion is Brian DeLeon, and the reserve champion is Trinity Payne. And our, our heavyweight commercial lambs, we have 12, we're going to place 10.
At this time, we are light commercial champion, Sarah Herrera, and the reserve champion, Rianne Smart, the medium commercial champion, Brian DeLeon, and reserve Trinity Payne start lining up. All right, really nice class. We get up in these um, older sheep, but these are not really older, but heavier sheep. We start getting them a little more mature. We start running into some maturity issues, and then definitely we start running into some finish issues. Um, this first place lamb, um, one that catches your eyes, he comes in the ring. He's just so balanced and so eye appealing. Um, but the first thing you ask yourself is, there enough to him? Um, she's a little narrow, um, but you get up over the top of him and she does handle with enough muscle. And then it's like I said, we run into a lot of issues with a lot of other sheep in here um, being mature and, and being um, over conditioned. And so a lot of them drop out of the way. And so this she just really works her way up to the top. Um, the UN second, um, a little full today and, and probably more conditioned than what I'd like to see. Um, but she still handles firm. She handles fresh to the touch. Um, has some eye appeal about her as she gets around the ring and lady does a great job sticking her um, But just doesn't have the extension or the firmness Especially over that four rib to run with our first place lamb Then we got two lambs in, in third and fourth that are really a lot of lock and kind um, Both these individuals did a great job the, Neither one of these are over fat. They have some muscle But both of them are getting a little stale a little mature in their overall look and both of them probably did a better job than the people down the way of just getting them, getting a better shot for me to look at them um, in a quality way. Um, both these need some, some touch, they need some shape, they need some rib shape, and they just need a more youthful appearance to run with the two lambs in front of them. Congratulations, guys. All right, placing in our heavyweight commercial lambs. First, Krista Sifuentes. Second, Riley McGovern. Third, Marshall Moody. Fourth, Madison McInerney. Fifth, Hope Best. Sixth, Gabby Sunberg. Seventh, Bia Chavez. Eighth, Natalie McGovern. Ninth, Cassidy Delicia Lowe. And tenth, Brian DeLeon. Thank <laughs> you. 
We need the We need the light, medium weight, open lambs. Light, medium weight, open lambs. Start lining up. Well, a really nice um, champion drive here for our commercial sheep show. Let's give all these kids a round of applause. Well, a great job of getting these lambs stuck and presented. Um, um, these kids have done a great job present, um, presenting these lambs for me today. So I appreciate that. We definitely got some differences out here. Um, you know, in those in those lighter classes, was we were struggling to find the sheep with some enough muscle and enough shape. Um, I think we found that in that our champion lightweight up here, um, a lamb that's really extended. Um, you get up over the top of him, you're not disappointed. Maybe not as cool a rib as some of the sheep um, behind him, but probably as we get more rib shape in this lamb, he's going to drop into a heavier class. Um, but we could sure change him through that front shoulder blade and give him a little more rib. Um, come down here to our middleweight, um, a lamb that um, young man did a great job presenting. Um, a lamb that um, probably wasn't the longest and tallest by any means, um, but one when you got up over the top of him, you appreciated the handle that he had, the thickness that he had, the squareness that he had out of his hip, and the amount of leg that he had. Sure, we'd like to clean his front end up just a little bit, maybe trim him up, trim her up just a little bit, but um, great job presenting that. Then we got in the heavy class. We didn't get the chance to double look at this one um, because we only had one class of heavyweights, and so to watch her come back out here in this drive um, um, is, is against a different set, against a, a set of fresher lambs um, that are more youthful in their appearance, um, but but don't definitely don't overpower her like the heavyweights. It's, it's definitely interesting to see her in this different light. Um, one that I really like to handle on. I like the touch. I like the rib shape. I like the squareness out of her hip. Um, she definitely wants to overdrive at times, get a little high in that top, but we don't have that as she goes around the ring. So, Really nice class. We'll go our champion drive. We'll go put down the mic and we'll pick our champion in reserve. Our commercial champion lamb 
Krista Sifuentes. And our reserve, Sarah Herrera.
In our light, medium, oil class, we have nine, replacing four. If you're in the heavy, medium, wool open, heavy, medium, wool open, you start lining up. Well, they're really top placing here. We've got a lot of um, we got some very interesting sheep up here at the top end of this class. Um, and what what you'll all least could probably win the class very handily with somebody else um, judging. Um, this little ewe lamb, though, I think is just the most complete in my mind. Um, one is just super cracked open, super good to the handle. Love the tremendous hip that this ewe lamb has. Um, young lady doesn't get her cranked as the big kid's behind her, but um, she's still long enough neck. She's attractive through her front end. It probably has a tick more grow than our second place lamb. Our second place lamb getting on the side of being too small. We appreciate a lot of things about that sheep. Um, young lady does a great job getting him stick. He's beautiful on the walk, um, cracked wide open smooth through that front end, big old square hip, um, but just in my mind is just getting a tick small even for a lightweight class to win the class, so um, we left him second. Um, young man has a powerhouse down there in third. This guy is massive top, massive loin, um, but for that amount of power though, he really doesn't have the shape and the dimension out of the hip. Is a two sheep in front of him, plus he's getting a little coarse through that shoulder and a little thicker through that neck, so we just didn't balance up as good as the two sheep in front of him. Um, the blue sheep down there in fourth, um, maybe a little more problem sheep, one that handles extremely well, um, probably the lightest conditioned. I'd like to put a little more condition on him just to smooth him up everywhere, um, but a nice top, nice rack. Um, maybe wants to get a tick short out of that hip and a little flatter in that rib compared to the sheep in front of him, but a really nice lamb. Congratulations. All right, placing in our light, medium weight open lambs. First, Bia Chavez. Second, Trinity Payne. Third, Reed Chavez. And fourth, Grant Gonzalez.
for those attending the sale on Saturday, uh, the grounds here, will, the parking will be reserved for buyers only. If you're not a buyer, then you will park over at Ferris Stadium and they will shuttle you over on buses. For Thursday, depending on the weather, uh, for the closing ceremonies, we may have limited parking. We do have uh, an extra parking area over there. Depending on the weather, we may or may not open that up. So it's suggested that you carpool if you can. All junior showmen that signed up, you are all invited back to the ring for the junior showmanship. Heavy, medium, wool, open lambs in this category. We have 11. We're going to place five.
Well, if you couldn't see, we didn't, we had four great sheep from the side um, standing out here. Um, you need to go a little more livestock judging. Four exceptional lambs. Um, all of them probably got a class leading trade here or there. Um, and it's, uh, makes it really tough, but I really like this first place sheep. Maybe didn't, I've got to say, some of the other ones caught my eye, maybe a little more as they come in the ring. Um, but this first place lamb, um, when you get right over the top of him, and I just love his youthful look. All these sheep have plenty of power. They have a ton of meat and muscle down their top. Um, they're long enough, they're big enough, they're big enough footed, um, they're stout enough. And so then, then what I said while I go into goats, we get enough power in these sheep and then we're gonna pretty them up. And this one just has the most youthful look up there through his rib, through his front end. He's really long-sided, dead level and square, probably one of the squares out of that hip. So I'm um, a lamb that once we found him in Lexington, him, I think he kind of comes to the top of the class. Um, second place lamb probably follows the pattern of my first place lamb a little better than maybe the other two. Um, real youthful in his overall look from the side. Um, when we get up over the top of him, he maybe wants to get a little more mature in that rib shape. Maybe wants to push just a tick more fat than the first place lamb. But I really appreciate the extension that he has, how up, and he, how up he is in his chest floor, um, how he ties in from his neck to his shoulder to his rack. And then when we get behind him, just a ton of meat to go. Um, third place lamb down there, tremendous handle. Probably as much rack shape and dimension of rack um, as anything out here. Huge top, huge loin. Um, guy's got a great hip in him, really deep hind leg. Um, maybe just didn't quite have the pattern this first place lamb. Probably a really close place in there between second and third. I could switch them all day long, but maybe just not the youthfulness through his front end of that first place lamb, really tight. I will be honest, this fourth place ram really gravitates. This young man does a great job showing him. He prances around the ring. Um, really beautiful look. Um, but as we analyzed him, he maybe wants to get a little deeper in his chest floor. Just maybe doesn't balance up quite as well as the sheep in front of him in terms of power out of his front end to power and total dimension out of that hip. So we left him in fourth. Congratulations. All right, placing in our heavy medium wool open class. First, James Oliveras. Second, Jonathan Oliveras. Third, Joseph Adlin. Fourth, Reed Chavez. And fifth, Ransom Chavez. Well, let's give these kids a round of applause. We just had a really amazing sheep show for the quality and numbers that we had. Um, we've got two sheep out here that I just think are more market ready. That's gonna be our two heavies. They're gonna be champion in reserve. Congratulations, guys.
We need the commercial champions in the ring. We need the commercial champions to come get in the alley line up. Lamb exhibitors, while we're waiting for that, listen up. After the after showmanship, this is what we need help with. We have to get this arena torn down and ready for our Ag Mechanics and Steer Show tomorrow. So I'm gonna ask that we get some help doing that. Our trailer is uh, currently in Fredericksburg, getting some new tires put on it. It's gonna be a little bit late coming in. So once we get the arena torn down, we're gonna to need to get the placing pins placed out. All this railing here is gonna be put up against the fence and the bleachers outside. Then I will start checking out your lambs. So if your lambs gonna go on a trailer, if it's gonna to go to Fredericksburg for market, we'll check it out. I'll, I got holding pins, I'm gonna put them in, and then you're free to leave, and the show will make sure we get them put on the trailer. That way you don't have to wait two or three hours for the trailer to get here, okay? So I'll get some free labor out of you. You get to leave a little bit early. Deal? All right, thank you. Our open champion lamb was James Oliveris. Reserve was Jonathan Oliveris. If you signed up for junior showmanship, start lining up. If you signed up, go ahead and line up. Everyone's invited back for juniors. Well, it's been a real honor to be down here today, the Judge Joe Show. I um, want to thank especially all the ring help, all the directors. Let's give them a big round of applause. Everybody always seems to point out the um, negatives and what we can change and what we can do better next year, and they forget to tell them thank you for all their hard work and all the time they put in um, to put on a great show for our kids. Um, just an awesome show today. I really like y'all's um your commercial show and, and what it does and how it presents itself. But um, um, we got four awesome sheep out here. Um, we've got two really good ones. Our open are gonna be our champion in reserve. Congratulations, boys. Amen. Mm -hmm. 